Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's Nate here with Adrenaline Rush Adventures. And today we have a very special adventure for you. We got Fierce from Fierce Fishing along for the journey. 48.36 pounds for 11 year old Fierce Williams out of Shawnee, Oklahoma. The River King. What's up? 65.90 pounds for 14 year old River Williams. And Jace with Off the Dock Outdoors behind the lens. What's going on, guys? 47.08 pounds for Jason Williams. Today is the first day of the Oki Noodleland Tournament in Paul's Valley, which is basically the Super Bowl of Noodleland Tournaments. We are competing, we are all entered, all four of us. And as some of you may know, we're on a quest to catch a catfish by hand in every state that it's legal to noodle in. So far, we have crossed six states off the list. Today, we are gonna cross Oklahoma off the list for the video series. I know we've caught some catfish in Oklahoma already this season, but we wanted a special video for our video series so you can get the full Oklahoma experience. And what a better way to do that than to go to the Oki Noodleland Tournament in Paul's Valley, Oklahoma, the granddaddy of them all, and show you the festivities. There have been 300 competitors in Paul's Valley some years, and sometimes over 10,000 people there to watch the weigh-in. So this is the biggest Noodleland Tournament by far and we take part in it every year. We have a blast doing it. Some years we do well, some years we don't do well. But if we catch a 20 pounder or a 50 pounder or an 80 pounder, whatever it is, we're gonna take it down there and see how we stack up against the best hand fishermen in the world. But we want you guys to see what it's like to be part of the two day competition. This is day one and we have to be at weigh-in no later than 6 p.m. tomorrow deadline with a big catfish to see how we stack up. So here we go, we gotta get to fishing. It's about 9 a.m. Friday morning. We get out here later than we wanted, so we gotta go get on them. We just stumbled along this hollow log right here. It's our first hole of the day. First hole of it's the our day. first hole of the day. I'm gonna reach in and see if there's anything in there. Is it clean? It goes that way, son. Empty? Oh yeah, empty. All right, well, first hole's empty, but we got a lot more holes to check. All right, here we are. It's one of our favorite spots. You gotta be careful, there's some debris in the water here. We've caught some big fish out of this one right here. Unfortunately, the front of it's got covered up with sand from the last rain. So that one's no good. Oh. Checking this big pipe here. Got to go in there with my whole body to make sure there's not a catfish hiding in the back. Here I go. I never hit the back, but I can't tell y'all that it has a bowl in it. So whenever someone says it has a bowl, that means there's a hump where a catfish has been going in and out. Yo, but it feels cleaner than the last time I checked him. I'm gonna double check him. But I, he, he, he's a pro, he knows there's nothing in there, but I wanna see what, I gotta investigate what he's talking about. Good clean hole, nobody's home. One of the things that happens a lot is other noodlers get to your holes, well, not that they're your holes, but get to the holes you like before you do. And if that happens, sometimes it can be a long day. Uh, hole number three mm. empty. Hole number four is empty. Putting my legs in there real far. Nope, I got up to air. Hole number seven empty. Near the air. Listen. Hey, Dad, check this one. It's way out here deep. Hole it. number eight empty. You sure this one's clean? Uh, yeah, Hole number nine empty. Let's see what we got. This lucky number 10. This one feels the best so far. Fishy. Okay, I think we felt our first fish in this one. We don't know how big he is, but it'd be great to get our first one on the board for the tournament. Guys, right now he is underwater, noodling a concrete culvert. And we'll see what he catches. Put your little leg in there, River. See what happens. Put your little leg in there. Okay. I have my leg in there as far as it goes. Pierce, go check the top side. If I can get to the edge where it drops down a little bit. Not enough room to fit? No. Nope. Digging. Let's just dig. 
So we're gonna take a short little break, but we gotta go dig, 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 dig a tunnel. Well, maybe after this try, if I can't slip in there a little further, start digging again. Was a lack of worms. I was. I'm like trying to really get in there, and I'm like wiggling. It's kind of sketchy, but trying to get in there. You have to do it for a long time. Yeah, it is hard just to do barely, it. Just barely, like not hard, but. All of the air you just breathe to hold your breath, just you breathe it out while it, when you're in the pipe. <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna go try. Oh, oh, I heard it. Yep. I'm trying to pull it up. Trying to pull out. Is it like okay, man? No, I'm blocked. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, right. I almost had him. I had him in the mouth. How big? Like oh. a 30 pounder. <laughs> and I was about to run out of air. You were under there for like 30 seconds. So I told you he was in there. Yeah, he's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even touch him, and then when I finally got to where the air was, I just kind of grazed him, and then he just started going wild. Okay, so River felt him finally with his foot. We're sending him back in. He's got his whole head in there. I've got his hand only. Something's happening. I don't know what. He's coming out easy. <laughs> what? Almost had him up to me. Ooh. You wanna know why I thought he was smaller two. than bigger? Yeah. Just because there's two fish in me. Nice. River has confirmed that there's two. Let's go. I'm gonna try and catch the big Let's one. get it. I think, I think it just came up and grazed me, so I'm gonna go. Oh shit, oh shit, try to blow out. Nope, 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 nope. What's happening? What's happening? Where is he? He went back. Okay. Get this up. Hey, bro. Oh, I can barely breathe. <laughs> so that was the bigger one. Yeah, it made a big loud splash in there that time. What's he doing? He's like, I can barely breathe. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> he's not a, he's not communicating. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Welcome to my world. <laughs> it's right here. I got him. Okay. Stringer? Yeah. Str him String him and then see if you can come up with him like a rodeo, okay? Now be a cowboy and pretty sure this is a small one. This better be. I'm like 80% sure. Through the loop, always got to use the that kind of loop. All right, I'll block the hole. You stand up and show everybody what you found. Yeah, baby. There we go. On the board. Really or is that the bigger one? Yeah, we're hoping that's the smaller mate. Oh, oh. Jesus. Guys, calm down, buddy. All right, fierce. Hey, we're on the board. At least we're gonna have something to take to Okie Noodleland. Woohoo! There you go. River's going in to see if there's a mate. We've got one fish on the board. Come on, buddy. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he wants. <laughs> My net sack. Oh my god. Did you, is there a fish? I got him right here. Oh shit. <laughs> alright, well, alright. It's on the left finger. side of the hole. Left side. Oh, okay, there it is. He's a little bigger, huh? <sighs> I got the stringer. Well, you gonna put him between your legs or? <sighs> sure. <sighs> Grapple him up, boy. Grapple him up. Cool, baby. We had a Sin River in there because he's the only one who fits. Stringer? <sighs> I got it, I got it, I got it. 
Do you not think I had him or something? No, I thought you were like stuck or something. I kept trying. Oh to... no, the reason I was stuck is because this fish, I got tangled up with him. Got him. Come here, buddy. Show the camera. Oh, he's small. Yeah. He's small. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. First two fish for the Okie Midland Tournament. They're not bad. That one hit me in the nuts so Ooh, hard. They're heavy. There we go. Fierce is very, very known for losing those stringers. I've only lost so we're, two so ever in my life. That's two right, more. Guys. Quick recap here. Guys, first two fish for the Okie Noodling Tournament. River was the only one who had fit, so we had to send him in. I don't know if these will be winners, but at least we got on the board and we're gonna try for bigger. But if nothing else, we'll have something to take. Good team effort. Great job, River. Thanks. We're on the board. Let's keep going and see if we can get a bigger one. All right, a couple weeks ago, we were here. Maybe three weeks ago, we were here and we caught a big one with Blue Gabe and Crystal. It's coming out. Oh, 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 We've been excited to come back and check. We haven't checked it since then. So fingers crossed for some big ones. Last time we were here, we got a 50 pounder. Here I go, I'm gonna go see what's in there. Couldn't quite fit. River, you wanna just go in here and see if there's one in here? Yeah, I guess. I can fit everything but my chest. My chest is too big. I knew I shouldn't have spent those extra couple days in the gym this week. That was him, I think. Nothing. Okay. Hey, I got a fish. Must be a carp or something. Don't lose it, River. Dang it. Ah. Got a little channel cat like that, dude. River lost what was in the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we just finished this spot, guys, and um, we only caught two, but we got to get these guys to the truck and go check our next spot. So we'll be back with you in a bit. Check out this giant dandelion. Has anybody else ever seen one this big? Let's see what it looks like. Harder than blowing out candles. Right. I'll leave this one, but ain't those pretty? Look at that. All right. all right guys what's up it is about three o'clock we have moved spots we we caught some small fish we caught two good ones at the last spot and some small fish but it was a little slow so we're about halfway through the first day of the tournament we have moved spots here to one of our other locations last time we were at this spot we stepped over this rail right here and i stepped over just like this and i stepped over again when i stepped over i almost stepped straight onto a giant Diamondback rattlesnake, a coontail. He almost bit me, but I got lucky and he didn't. It was the first giant rattlesnake I've seen here in eastern Oklahoma. And he ran into that hole right there. But anyways, anyways, no snake here today. So let's hop onto the river bridge and let's go see what we can grab up. You know, last time we were here, guys, we caught a tournament winner. So we're pretty excited about this spot. We haven't been here in a year. We, we've given it a break. Hoping that whatever's in there is the biggest that could possibly be this time. So let's go see. She's right up there, the bend of the river. So just found a really big hole. Not sure if it's a beaver hole or a fish hole, but I'm gonna go check it out with my feet first. And that's just a glare. Bubbles. Under there a while. What was that? Were y'all hearing splashing? Yeah. <sighs> I think it's empty. I'm gonna go double check though. Dang it. Is it a big? Big hole, yeah. But it could be just a beaver den, like it could go to air. There he comes. We hear splashing. It was like kicking sticks up in the air, so. Beaver den. Beaver den. Sometimes fish do get in them, but that one's empty. It's, that was one of our two great holes on this trip, so 
Hopefully coming up here, there's another big rock we got down a bend or so, will pay off. Kind of got all our eggs in one basket for this spot. And this, I don't know if we'll have time to go to another spot today or not. We're gonna try to, but. Okay guys, we are here. This is the good spot. Big, huge boulder here. I'm gonna reach in. This is one of those holes, if they come up and bite you, you just gotta grab them because usually they get so far back in there you can't reach them after, if, they, if you miss them one time. So I'm gonna dive down. Hope he's in there. Hope it's a good hole still. I can feel it goes in a little bit. I don't know how far back it goes, but first dive, sometimes it happens. You ready? Ready. Okay, so when dad comes up for air, I'm gonna go down and block the hole so no fish can get out. Because the hole in. actually starts about three or four feet under this rock. So when you're up for air, you can't block it. So we're gonna try to do this technique where one of us is up for air, the other one's blocking and try until we tell if there's a fish in there or not at least. All right, so guys, the actual hole is probably underneath me right now, under this rock. They got to go under the rock to get to the hole. Okay, ready? Yep. Gotta save all my breath, you know? So when he comes up, I can go down there and plunge the hole. Make sure it's not coming, he's coming. Go on. It's a monster hole. What are you doing? <laughs> River forgot the plan. Hope he didn't swim out. Monster, Monster hole. I can't tell if there's fish in there, so here I go. I gotta go double check. I get bad breath today. I don't have very much breath today. I don't know Dad why. Dad said it's a huge hole. It's too big. Is he really? He said he don't know where the fish is, but if it's in there, it's huge. Okay, I have no clue what's happening. I don't think there's a fish in there, or Dad would have told us or something by now. So. I don't know that. There could be one hiding in the corner or something. Then you can check Oh my gosh. Out. Nothing in there? I think it's empty. Do you ever hit the back? I'm pretty sure. That is a major hit to our chances, but we're gonna go try to get to one more good spot tonight before dark. We're gonna finish checking the bank holes here on the way out as well. You never know, you could get lucky there. Whew. I don't know, what do you think guys? That sucks right there, don't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where, that's where a lot of our big fish have came from right there. Boy, the search continues. We've been at it for a while. Didn't touch nothing at this spot. I mean, we kicked like a fish in open water, but nothing in the holes. It's such a mystery why sometimes certain places they're just not spawning good i don't know if it's too early or if the water's up just a little too much uh i don't know there's just no telling i'm always trying to figure it out and learn something new but we just got to continue push forward and go to the next spot well guys every once in a while you find a hole that you need scuba for and there's this one hole up here that's really deep and goes way back up under there, about 20 feet. The only way to get to the back of it really safely, well, it's still not very safe, but the safest way to do it is with scuba. So this year, I entered in the scuba division. I only got about two or three holes to, two or three holes to check with this though. And really, I have one I really need to come through. So it's about 7 a.m. day two of the contest. All right, the first hole we have that I usually just go for, go in right here and it goes under that whole log and goes way back up into the bank. Way back up into the bank, so. Anybody home? Empty. Dang it. This is pretty much our best hole that we know. Well, yesterday we had one hole that was one of our best holes too, but one of these is our best hole. This is our toughest hole to noodle though, and it usually has big boys and no one else can noodle it. it looks like I'm hanging onto a limb line that got snagged up down here. Oh, yeah. The current is strong. The cool thing is after you get down below the concrete and you go back in, you get out of the current. So after I go down there, it's about 10 feet down and I got to go back in about 10 feet or more, maybe, maybe 15 feet. And I got to see if she's home. Guys, I'm like, 
make sure you watch for my bubbles and stuff. Okay. okay. I got my stringer, so. Oh, Wish me luck, Jace. All right, good luck. Good uh, luck, Dad. Uh, good luck, Dad. Uh, <laughs> Godspeed, go. little buddy. Grab my leg if you have. I'm trying not to get blown away. <laughs> Dad probably got blown away. Oh, Dad, don't oh, get blown away. Oh, there's his first bubbles, guys. Okay, so as long as we see the bubbles, we that's know good. We, that's a good sign. You know, that means we know he's breathing. There's a big concrete pillar. It's an old bridge or something. The, the safety rope. <sighs> Man, I hope this place comes through. Oh, Dad, here. Wait, no. Dad, don't you come get up excited? Here. I got excited. Well, if you came up that fast, it means there wasn't a fish. Guys, when they're in this hole, they are never under 40 pounds. They're always 40 pounds and above. This thing isn't breaking. <laughs> Don't <laughs> What if I just long live the kingdom? Man, this current is strong. There is Try still air bubbles me. coming up, so. Yeah. Oh, oh what's he's going breathing on? heavy. That mean, that's a lot a good of sign. air bubbles. That means, that means something good, I think. We're hoping. We're hoping. Or he's trying not to die or something, so. Like, or maybe he's like trying to string two fish at once. If he got to fish, Oh gosh, just, just long with the <laughs> You gotta get out of my way. <laughs> to not. <laughs> bye bye. I'm trying to get me ready for oh. that one. Whoa, he's over there. Oh, he's over there. Take my tape. I got the tape. Take my tape. Gotta go for a swim with him. Oh, that's me for a bit of a ride. <laughs> Take him to the bank. Dad, yeah, you got one? Okay. Okay. Oh, I touched him. <sighs> Finally touching. Finally. Let's see how so deep. Show her. It's how so how big is it? Yes, yeah. About 15 feet back in there, and I was hoping there was a mate, but there was just one. Yeah, your breath started coming in heavy, like, a lot. More breath. Whoa. Jeez, don't get your arm yanked off. That's our biggest one so far. We finally got a decent one. I don't know how big it is. I'm going to say real close to 50. It might go 50. We'll have to take it to the tournament and see what she weighs. Finally, we finally got one. Give me some. Good nice. job. Good that catch. Was a big the little scuba tank came through. So it's about 8 a.m. Day two of the tourney, and we finally got a contender. We got to get him back to the truck, and this may be all we get, but get him back to the truck and go check a couple more spots. Finally got a tournament fish, though. <laughs> Super excited. I mean, we already had one. I don't think his was going to win. I don't think this will win, but you know, they give the top six places for scuba and the top six places for natural. So you never know. Usually if it's over 50 pounds, you have a really good chance. I'll have to put this baby on scales or we'll have to wait till we get to the tournament, but I bet it's real close to 50. The worst part about river fishing is it's never easy getting them back to the chuck. You have usually a good ways to tote them, and then you got all kinds of weird banks and stuff to carry them out of. Ugh. And you gotta kind of to bust your ass. Oh, you almost lost it there. Yeah. Ouch! Stubbed my toe. Yeah. That looks hard. Oh. Oh. That was hard. Imagine doing that with a fish. In the tank. Ah. Well water. Giving them some well water. They love it. We're at our buddies. My old high school coach, old John Mark Hadley. Some of you guys might know him. Jason's old high school coach too, John Mark Hadley. Got the nice well water here. He lets us borrow it when we need it. We're out here at another spot, guys. We just moved spots. It is 9 a.m. on tournament weigh-in day, day number two of the tournament. And uh, River's got a couple smaller ones, and I got a real good one, but we still searching. It is cold. How's that water? Oh. Okay, we're gonna have a little race. 
These boys are cold, so sometimes you gotta do I jumping might... jacks. We're gonna get fierce a little head start. Is that go? Go. go. Uh oh. I thought we were catching faster. So did I. To the sunlight. To the sunlight. Oh River. boy, I think we're very close. Yeah. Very close. Thanks for the likes, guys. Much appreciated. We just seen a big snake flop in the water right there. I just missed it. But uh, you know, can't be scared of snakes. We still gotta fill in there. I mean, that looks like a good training for a catfish to be hiding. Yes, yeah, fill in the clean spots. Usually, you can tell where these catfish have been laying. I you can a feel spot. a clean spot or a little bowl. I actually felt pretty clean on that side. Had a little. Did you hit the back? Okay. Yep. This side doesn't feel anything like that other side. Nothing in there. Just gotta keep moving and keep searching. Usually as you get closer to the main river, you can find bigger fish. Tommy, where are y'all from? Here's that Tommy, where y'all are from. Big Rockies. The creek is clear, Lacey. We're approaching what well, seems to be a hole. Alright. I'm gonna reach in. Find a hole? I think. Oh, yeah, there's. Yeah, there's one. Ow! Uh, ah! Oh, oh my oh, gosh! Yes, it's, it's just oh, attacking him. It's attacking him. Oh, it's crap. Attacking him. I thought he was playing. <laughs> I thought he was playing. <laughs> no, him. He's getting the ball. Guys, I don't think the camera caught that, but he just <laughs> screamed. And then when he yanked his foot out, the, the catfish, catfish was, was on, on his it. foot. Catfish was on his foot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's what are you uh, waiting for? Get him, boy. Get him. Get him. Okay. Oh, my. Okay. Bring him out. Bring him out. All right. Ah, ah. Hey, get over there by your brother. Ready? Yeah. Water's a little chilly. Yeah, water is chilly. Dude, that fish straight up swallowed his foot. Oh, it sounded like something might have happened. Yeah, I thought I heard a boom boom too. Nothing? I got him. Oh, you got him? Yeah. He's got him, guys. He's got a big what you, catfish. What do you need me to do? I'm just going to get a leg remember. lock. Okay, okay. He's going to wrap his legs around. We call it the leg lock. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I'll yes. drag you up. Drag you up. Drag. Oh, my oh, my gosh. Oh, she's that's huge. That's as big as mine. All right, all right, all right. All right. That oh. thing, that's the one that bit you because it had white spot on yes. its tail. All right. Oh, God. Please don't fall, buddy. Get up to the my left foot. Let me see. Uh, Look at Fierce's foot where it bit him. Uh, Look at Fierce's foot where it bit him. Wow, that might be as big as Dad's. Man, I that might I should have checked that. Should have checked that hole first. Should not have let him go first. That on the stringer. Back in the water too. I was like, I think this yeah. one is. Yeah. Somebody said Cat Daddy got him a good one. Oh well. Yeah. River, are you gonna check for mate? Yeah, I guess I can go ahead and check for. Oh my for gosh. I don't even know if another one can fit in that hole. That thing was huge. So far, one, Josh. One on the live, but we did have yeah, one uh, on the live. On this oh. morning. Yeah, I'm touching one side. Oh, there's another right, one in there's there. Another one. All right, left leg shake. Okay, ready? So, you want left leg if you want out, or I guess right leg out. if I want out. Okay. Right, right leg, leg if he wants, wants out. out. Yeah, left, left leg, leg if it's out. an emergency. Okay, ready? There you go. Here he goes, here he goes. Tap, so I better get my glove ready. Oh, it's bidding. Oh. It bidding. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard the boom boom. You, you got, got him. him. You got oh him. my gosh, yeah, I got him. Oh! Stand oh. up with him. Stand up with him. And he's a good one. Holy crap, that's bigger than Fierce's. That one is bigger. That's bigger. Oh my gosh. Oh my god! I swear! Oh, he got me all the way up to my wrist. That's a giant. Crap, that's a giant. I don't want him That's our biggest one we've caught. Wait, wait. Wow. Wow, good grab. Thanks. Good grab. Holy crap. Let me feel how big that is. This thing is a fat one. Yo, he's big. Oh, gosh. Good job, River. Holy moly. That's the biggest one we've ever found in that hole. 
That is. That thing is huge. That's, that's way over 50. Oh, he's smoky. I, I know. I bet that's going to be real close to 60. I bet Jeez. that's going to be close to 60. Because, well, I thought that was a 50. Maybe that's a 40. I don't know. Uh, well, that is a pair of fish right there. Talk oh, about dying. Nice. He's good. Oh, show, show him what it did to your arm. Look. Look at my arm. Got him. He bit me right here, and then I grabbed him. Guys, like Tell I don't me. even think... I don't even think we should keep fishing. This is big. I think we should just get we him. Still, we still got like four more holes. Yeah, but this is big. I think we should just get him to the truck. Just go? I yeah. think so. Okay. Don't let him die. Yeah, we don't want, I don't want him to die. That's a good one. Yeah. I, I, gotta grab, I gotta grab the bag. I gloves somewhere over there too. I'll grab your hat. Hey, jeez. He is fat and what? angry. <laughs> yeah, I lost the glove. Oh, well. Lost Mondo one. Circus. This thing is giant. Fish oh. fry question mark. Hey. No, we're going. We're hey. taking these to a tournament. We're on our way, boys. Oh, yeah, I forgot about my hat. You're going to have to put them on your shoulder. Tell them tell to we see you at Paul's Valley River. Hey, guys. We're going to oh. be checking back in on. Oh. We're going to be checking back in on. Hey, don't drag that fish. I know. I'm trying to put it in the water. Keep dragging. We're going to be. um, We're going to be on TikTok Live uh, at the tournament, weighing in, and we're doing noodling demos in the tank. So make sure you check back out our TikTok live later. We got to get these fish to the truck real quick because that was a jumbo. This is a jumbo. Oh! They do so be jumbo. They are really ow! Jumbo. Ow! Right. Okay. Did y'all see that thing bite me? It swallowed me all the way up to my ankle, like shin almost. And it hurt so bad. I put my leg in there and I was like, this River? feels good. River just caught a bigger fish than me. It's literally a sea mantis. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is huge. The Hold giant. it up. Hold it up for him. Oh my lord! The jump. That is a swamp that donkey. Up, Jesus. I don't know. How big y'all think that is? Sixty-two. He's. I'm, he's, he's a be. He's I'm gonna play a it safe, and I'm gonna say sixty on the nose. Get him to the truck. We gotta get him to the truck here. Okay. One of the hardest parts about the fishing in these creeks and rivers is carrying your fish back to the creek. I know that's not a light fish that river is carrying. Get them to the truck, boys. Get them to the truck. Look at my arm, guys. Right here is where that catfish bit me. Look at that orange nasty ooze. It is oozing out of this right here. Yeah. Yikes. Well, it's all in the name of the game, huh? No pain, no gain. All right, guys, so just a quick summary. <clears throat> we were gonna check about three more spots, but River just caught a jumbo, and Fierce caught the mate. That was pretty nice size, too. So we don't want anything weird to happen to our fish. We're just gonna head in with what we got because that's the biggest fish I've ever seen come around out from around here out of that creek. So we're gonna head to Paul's Valley and see what kind of damage we can do. Tell us about that fish, River. That thing, when I got in there, I felt him when he swallowed me right to up here and started cutting into Does my it skin. Hurt? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Ow. Don't do that. It's that like hurts. oozing and bubbling. That, that's the biggest one you've ever caught, I'm pretty sure. I'm like. River? River was uh, five years old. He caught a 54 pounder because I felt like a 25 pounder and it had a huge mate with it. River's record has been 54 pounds for nine years now. <laughs> He's been stuck on 54, but I'm pretty sure he just smoked that. That looks like about a 60 pounder to me. All right, guys, here it is, 11 a.m. on tournament day. We are headed to Paul's Valley. Mom's driving us down to the contest. We've got a few catfish back in the tank, and it's time to see how they stack up. So wish us some luck. Let's go, you guy. Okay. <laughs> Screw me, little guy. He's really mad. Grab him, Pierce. Woo! Dad's getting wet already. Alright. Pierce is weighing in his fish. Here we go. How much you guys think this fish is gonna weigh? I'm gonna, I don't know. What do you think, Fierce? This fish tore Fierce's foot off this morning. It swallowed his whole foot twice this morning. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's see. 48.41 pound catfish for Fierce Williams. Let's hear it for Fierce Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Fierce? Yeah! Woo! There you go, Fierce. Way to go. 
won, though. Well done. Good job. Big round of applause for Fear right. Play. Here comes Jace. Let's see. He about whoop my butt getting him out of the tank. Did he? Ah. This is, oh, he's trying to hop out of there. 4808. Or 4708 pounds for Jason. Here we go, put them in the demo tank. Why are they all sitting there? Hi, pretty fishy. Oh, yeah. That one's nice and pretty. He's going for it. There he goes. Right. Could you stand on that end? That's how you noodle a catfish. We are running the demo tank here. It's a pretty fun job. I've always wanted to do it. There he is, just like that. Also, if you'd like to see a lot more about noodling and the noodling videos, we have a YouTube channel, a Facebook, a TikTok, Instagram, any social media platform, and that's Adrenaline Rush Adventures to know more about us and noodling. We're just going to go down here and show you guys how to grab one by mouth and gill. And you better not lose it when you're fired. Okay, everybody ready? fish is in the lead haven't weighed mine in yet because we think he's big and we want to wait a little longer haven't weighed my dad's in yet either so we're gonna wait a little while they are doing happens. a wet t-shirt contest men only so the shirts start off frozen See a t-shirt logo. Oh, he's getting close. Let's hear it for him. Cheer him on. He's almost there. He's just got to get the t-shirt on over his head for the victory. And we have a winner! Champion! Let's hear it for our champion. Cheers, Dylan. 
He's about to go grab. Do it in your lane, Chase. Cool getting to see it. 3D view with clear water, what it kind of actually looks like. 41.56 pounds for Ezekiel Pierce, also out of Ardmore, Oklahoma, in the Scribbler category. Let's hear it for the Pierces. Fifty-one point one six pounds for five-time Okie Doodling champion Nathan Williams. Nathan, is this your fourth song? Is this the retirement? Nathan Williams out of Shawnee, Oklahoma. Let's hear it for Nathan Williams. Y'all see River coming over here with his massive fish. Sixty-five point nine zero pounds for fourteen-year-old River Williams. Let's hear it for River Williams. Like I was, I got him back up here and he started flopping like crazy and that's when he did this to me just then and cut me up all real bad. My hand went in his stomach. I almost dropped him, but I was able to hold on to him and I took him on the stage. Good job. Thanks. What do you got? I'm in the lead. I got a 65 pounder. 65 pounder, nice. What do you have? I got a 48 pound catfish. Way to go. River Williams? How long have you been doing this? Since I was three, so 11 years. I'm crossing my fingers for River. I think he's got a good chance, but it's scary because there's a big line of trucks. 18.59 pounds for Richard Hernandez with our second blue cat of the day. 20.73 pounds for Jacob Brazel out of Fort Worth, Texas. Let's hear it for Jacob. 38.19 pounds for Don Brewer out of New Walla, Oklahoma. 6.13 pounds for Devon Williams. Let's hear it for Devon Williams. 37.13 pounds for Terry Morrow out of Greenwood, Arkansas in the scuba category. 56.37 out of Seminole, Oklahoma. Let's hear it for Cody Bennett. Okay, we have three contestants. Three contestants for our Okie Noodling Queen contest. Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm from Antlers, Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Let's hear it for our contestants. Woo! All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there's three segments to this contest. Segment one is our fundraising category. Alicia, you're slacking. You have money for me? No. Oh, yes, good job. Go, Alicia, go. <laughs> she can barely beat you. No. She's got the less. How much money is it? Like 28. Thank you, sir. Anyone want to donate? Donate. I'm trying my best. 
Yeah. Maybe my little southern charm will get them. All right, here we go. A couple of rounds of questions. General Oki and, uh, and fishing kinds of knowledge. All right, ready? What year was the first Oki noodling tournament held? 1999, 2000, or 2001? 2001. So sorry. It is the 23rd annual noodling contest, so that would be 2000. Which, which lake has the largest capacity in Oklahoma? Is it Ten Killer, Arbuckle, or Eufaula? Which is the largest capacity? That would be like Eufaula. Yeah! Think we got it correct? Very nice. All right, who filmed the original documentary about the Okie Noodling Tournament? Jesse Alvarado, Bradley Beasley, or Nathan Williams? Nathan Williams? She says Nathan Williams. Wait, wait. Oh, so sorry. Hey, we're gonna go on three, two, one, go. Remember, 10 overhead presses, three jumps, and a cornhole shot. And three, and three two, two, one, go! Second place is Alicia Benoff. No. That means our winner is Caitlin Craig. Come on out, all three of you. Caitlin Craig is our new 2023 Okie Noodling Queen. Let's hear for all our contestants. They raised, they raised $606 for hungry kids here in Paul's Valley. Miley has one of those. She won an Okie Noodling Queen one year. Right, darling? Yes, I won in 2017, I think it was. Hey, awesome. shout out to Clay and Kendra Doyle. Thanks hey. for thanks for saying hi and um, being here. They said y'all are fearless. That's all. Awesome. They said I watch a lot of y'all's videos. That's cool. All right, in the youth category, the 17 and under category, the runner-up, winning $100 in a plaque, 16-year-old Grant Armstrong with a 53.27 pound catfish. Grant Armstrong, please make your way to the stage. Well, it looks like you might have won kids division ever. Our top youth noodler, our top 17 and under noodler with a 65.9 pound catfish, 14 year old River Williams. Yeah. Good job, boy. Top youth noodler, River Williams. Let's hear it for him. Scuba divisions. Okay, first up, five time champion Nathan Williams. Sixth place scuba division. That's what she said. This, I think this is my first sixth place. So and fifth place in the scuba division. Not what I was hoping for, but at least it's something different. Also wins $50 in a plaque with a 53. Here we go. Second place in the natural division, winning $700 in a black with a 65.9 pound catfish, River Williams. Way to go, River. Second place in the natural division, River Williams. Job, Let's have one more big round of applause for River. Woo! Yeah, River! Good work. All right, guys, we're nearing the end of our day, but as you see, we've been doing this demo tank all day. I've been talking, they've been getting and showing people how, but we gotta get them out and get them back home.
this today. I'm gonna show you one last time to look at the leaderboard. We walked away with a lot of hardware. River got first in kids, second overall, and I got sixth in scuba. And we were really close in natural for fifth and six, and we were really close in women. And really close on Noodle and Queen for Jason's girlfriend. But we're gonna get him next year. So state number seven is off the list. Make sure you come back and check it out next time. Once again, the sun is literally setting on our adventure. We came, we took home lots of hardware. We had a lot of fun with the tournament as always. Falls Valley puts on the best noodling tournament there is. We hope you enjoyed this special Oklahoma noodling edition. State number seven off the list. Next up, I think we're going to Arkansas. If you're not already doing so, make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure the notification bell is turned on and leave us a comment to let us know if you like the video uh, or anything that we didn't notice or anything you need to let us know about. All right, champion noodler. Oh man, I'm tired. I will see Four you guys out. next time.